Hello, friends, and welcome to Figure Study, where we appreciate the form in Transformers, or the, um, I guess the art of Tobots? I don't know, I can't think of a proper alliteration for this, but anyway, now we're taking a look at Tobot Athlon Metron. I've had this guy for a while, actually. If you recall, you may have seen the, uh, repair bay video that I did with Metron here on fixing ratchet, not fixing, but like tightening ratchet joints. And yeah, after all this time, I am finally getting around to actually talking about Metron. So right off the bat, Metron is a, a commuter train. Um, the, the show and by extension, the toy line is from Korea. So I'm assuming this is a commuter train from Korea. I don't know if Korea has subways or or not. Um, honestly, it doesn't look that different from either a subway train that we have in New York or closer to, say, a Metro North train. Because, yeah, it's not exactly a subway train, but definitely a commuter train of some sort. And it, it looks good. The just very simple color palette of black, gray, red, and blue. That's pretty much all there is in terms of color, but it works. And it's colored in nice areas too, like in the front here, where you have the, uh, where you have cat hair. And he's a little dusty. Where you have the blue line that kind of gets this little red stripe down there as well. And you get some more of that red and blue over the doors. And yeah, and of course, because it's a train, it's kind of like both sides are the front and the back. Yeah, as far as details go, there's not a ton of detail, but what's there is fitting. Like you've got steps to go up the, uh, the wheels, which do look like if there was a track made for them, they would actually fit in that track. I don't really need it. I mean, it rolls just fine, but, but uh, you know, could work in a track. And these little vents down here, which they have on both sides, slightly different, but uh, yeah. And of course, you've got the driver, conductor. Well, the conductor doesn't technically drive the train, I don't think. I don't know. But yeah, door for the driver, door for the commuters, windows, which are nicely I think that's paint I honestly can't tell if the side windows are paint or separate plastic but still nicely detailed and nicely picked out you can totally see the seam where the doors slide open just lots of little like grooves and lines going along here And in terms of the front slash back, also looks pretty good. The one thing that kind of is a shame with this, like they do a good job of separating out all of the color and stuff on the sides. In the front here, the fact that this entire thing is black just doesn't look quite right to me. I feel like, you know, the window definitely should be black, but like this should probably be the same gray as this. Granted, I don't know too much about these trains, so I don't know how accurate that actually is, but it does kind of look just, you know, like they could have painted that, I don't know. And then on the top, more lines. And I like these little details, how they actually have the vents for like the air conditioning systems and ventilation and stuff. And you even have the little kind of between car rubbery, accordion style thing so yeah neat little details on this train which is actually rather large there are stickers that came with this guy i have not put them on because i just the the stickers that came with it they're just like logo stickers almost like nascar brands if you can imagine and it's just putting them on this would be pointless I didn't throw out the sticker sheet, I do still have the sticker sheet, but actually applying the stickers I just thought would be silly. 
because it doesn't add any extra like actual detail to spots that really need it. It's just, you know, train logo here, train logo here. Eh. Anyway, let's do the size comparison thing real quick. So here we can see Metron right up next to a Titan's Return Deluxe. And yeah, he is a he's a big train. And there's Samus. Samus is not small enough to be a passenger, but still, that's a that is a large train. Now let's just do like a quick there. So you can see like directly on top there. Metron is big. Of course. Big vehicle mode also equals big robot mode, which we are going to take a look at right now. And so here we have Metron's robot mode, which is also quite big. And technically, yes, he has little parts formery because his weapon is like the middle section of the train and his top and bottom half are two completely separate parts of the train, but still it works. And this is definitely where Metron shines. I mean, there's not a ton of paint here but there's a lot of color difference in terms of like plastics and stuff. And that is just, that is great. And here you still have the gray, black, blue, and red combination, but now there's some white thrown into the mix and there's a much, much better mixture of the different colors with honestly a lot more blue. And this just looks really, really nice. Proportions are a little bit off. I feel like his, uh, it's a little, it's not too bulky in the chest and shoulders like it's I think it looks good but just in terms of like general proportionness is uh just a little little off in that section yeah he is very cool they did cheat a little bit pull him a little closer here because it's oddly tricky to do so I have to keep him at quite the distance but you can see they kind of cheated on the shoulders here, giving him the uh, the look of the outside of the train, but this is actually the inside. Because if you turn him around, you can see there's the, <laughs> the outside. But yeah, he looks quite good. Now his head... <laughs> we'll just keep adjusting the camera. Why not? His head is a bit nondescript, and I said this in the uh, repair bay video, it doesn't normally turn. I actually did a modification to it, like actually opened up the torso, took the head out, shaved some things down in order to get it to turn, but uh, turns very slightly. But anyway, it's a kind of nondescript head, like there's no features whatsoever to the face. It's mostly just in the helmet, which is this kind of, uh, I don't even know what you'd call it with like the gray on top. It looks good. Kind of like how it's got like the gladiator, not gladiatorial, almost like a protective headgear kind of thing with like the band going around the outside and like little bits coming up around what would be cheeks. Yeah, it's a good looking head. It's perpetually stuck in this slightly downward look, which honestly I don't mind because he's tall so it kind of makes sense and Tobots aren't exactly super big on articulation so it's okay but then other detail wise I like the red strips on the sides here he does have this little readout here that you can push the button to 
well, let's pop that open and also change what's displayed on his chest. I just leave it like that. And when you pop open his chest inside, there is this thing. I don't know. It's. I think it's relevant to the show. I'm sure it is. It's like some weird little bubble future car. It's cute, but just pop it in there and close it back up. It's kind of annoying because transforming him, it always ends up pushing that button and making that pop out, but not much I can do. I thought about going in there and removing the spring, but I feel like that's a bit too much modification that I just don't feel like doing. Anyway, moving on to the arms, there's some nice, simple but nice detail for the inside there. And I do like how he's got like the black on, or the black on the inside and the blue on the outside. Nice hand. Can actually open the fingers. Only problem is the thumb is just stuck in this kind of semi-awkward position. And waist. And this is where, this is mostly like there's the red up here and some of the stuff on the shoulders, but this is where I think most of the paint is. Even have some red on the insides of these skirts for some reason. He's got these weird kind of knee things. But yeah, overall, very cool looking robot. And I do very much like the just the aesthetics of him. Like again, simple details, not a lot of intricate stuff, not a lot of like textural stuff, but he just has a very Japanese robot look to him, even though he's Korean. <laughs> it's it's a neat look though. Then he's got his weapon which you just kind of wrap his hand around and it becomes like a big hammer thing. So let's just do that real quick. That's pretty cool. <laughs> I don't know how what else to say other than he is cool. Like I just, I really do like even though it's not proportional, I like the bigger, like the broader chest and the big shoulders. I like the big kind of double barbell hammer weapon, just the overall like very kind of typical anime robot kind of look, but still neat. And he's made up of a train, like a commuter train. And that's, uh, yeah. I'm never one to turn down transforming train toys. And just for our Size comparison, there he is with Chrome Dome, our Titans Return Deluxe, and Miss Aran for our kind of standard size thing. Yeah, he's he's a big fellow. He's a very big fellow. Weighty too, there's just a lot of dense plastic to this guy. Now I did have some issues with him out of the box, a lot, like not a lot, but several of his joints, like important joints, were very, very loose despite being ratchets. And the main reason that is an issue is because of this weapon, because this weapon is not light. I mean, it's not, like it's not heavy as far as like a person holding it goes, but like the ratchets in the arms were not good enough to hold it up. So like this right here, he could not do that when I got him out of the box. His arm would just swing right back down. And unfortunately, it is too heavy for, for other joints, but you know, <laughs> we do what we can. All right, let's get this out of here. Let go. Let go. So, Tobot Athlon Metron. He is neat to look at. His transformation is simple but fun. Um, he's not super posable. I mean, like I said, I had to modify his head so he could turn it. And he has, like, he can move his arms up and down, which is fine. But, like, his bicep swivel is on, like, a a four-point ratchet so like 
it'll lock in those positions. You can kind of fudge it by going to like part way, but if he's holding his weapon, it, the weight might pull it one way or the other. I also had to modify the legs a bit so that he could actually not, <laughs> so that he could like actually not like completely go off the rails when I try to bend him, but bends pretty well. Only one click going forward or back though. And then, yeah, rotate there. But yeah, I mean, again, Tobots aren't super posable. It's not really, it's not really their thing. And I know I don't normally talk about posability anyway, I just wanted to do that because I don't think there are too many English videos of this guy at the moment. But yeah, overall, he looks good on a shelf. He's fun to transform. I'm just, I'm oddly not all that enamored with him. When I first got him, I was super excited. I was super excited when I was planning on getting him and was, you know, waiting for him to show up in the mail, but I don't know, just getting him in hand, I'm just, there's no magic there for me. I think it's, he looks neat. I think the fact that he turns into a train is cool. I think the train looks good. The transformation is fine. Posability is fine with some modifications. He can even hold his weapon in a pose, which is great, but just, I don't know, something in having him in hand. I'm just not as like, yeah, as I am for, say, Barbarian King. Because Barbarian King is a lot less posable than this guy, but I still love Barbarian King. Yeah, I mean, Metron is cool, especially if you're looking for a transforming commuter train. A big one, too. But, uh, yeah, I don't know. I'm just... I was super interested in the Tobot line with the combiners, but then like the, okay, there's, I think, are we getting a kitten? We're getting a kitten cameo. Okay. Hi, Astrid. <laughs> I guess another size comparison. Sure. So here he is next to a cat. But... <laughs> you move your move 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 there we go but anyway as i was saying i just um i don't know i feel like me personally the toe bot by clones whatever individual bots just aren't for me i love the combiners but just the the one-offs like this i don't know just doesn't do it for me, which is a shame because, again, he's very cool, very fun transformation, very sturdy toy, but eh, oddly disappointing. Was not expecting that. Anyway, that has been my look at Tobot Athlon Metron. Honestly, I can't, like, while he's not doing it for me, I. Hi. <laughs> while he's not doing it for me, I don't necessarily want you to think I'm, you know, saying don't get this toy because if what you're seeing looks cool to you, then by all means, get it. Just for me, I just think I, I'm a Tobot combiner fanboy, and I think that's where the Tobot fun or where the Tobot enjoyment stops for me, which is a shame. But anyway, that's it. Video over, all that good stuff. Feel free to like, comment, subscribe. Any number of those three would make me a happy Rob, and it would make Astrid a happy kitty. Yes, it would. Oh no, we're, we're being indecent. And, and remember, art is more than meets the eye, even if it is disappointing sometimes.